He's heating up! Hey guys, it's Vash. Welcome to a little, uh, discussion video where, uh, we're gonna talk about some stuff. And by stuff, I mean Project Resistance. I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking what I think about Project Resistance. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm putting chapstick on it. So, here we go. Boy. Oh boy. So I wrote some notes on what I want to talk about. In the description, well, in the video I'll have the trailer playing. Hopefully that doesn't get the, uh, the shit copyrighted out of it. I will also have a link in the description to a uh, seven minute gameplay video that I found on YouTube. So you guys can watch it and get an idea of what a full, I believe it's a full game. Let me skip to the end of it. Yeah, you can get like what a full game is. Seven minutes. Is it from start? Yeah, it's seven minutes. Okay, so the games are going to be short. So I have Ty the Tyrone written really loud. Loud. Written loud. I have Tyrone written really big at the top. All right, so Project Resistance is a new multiplayer game by Capcom, made in the Resident Evil universe, and I can honestly say that it was announced at the absolute worst time, and I think that is about 80% of the hate that it's getting, because it's getting hated on pretty bad right now. Um, the reason why I say that's about 80% is because people were expecting a Resident Evil 3 remake, people are expecting either a port or a remaster or a new Outbreak game. People, there was some rumor going around about a new Dino Crisis game, which I, like, what the hell? What does that even have to do with anything? I don't know, it's, it's crazy that all these games people are expecting, but have, like, no, unless I missed it, but I haven't seen any evidence of any kind of anything from what people are expecting. Like, I understand when they, when they gave us a little hint about, like, oh, the next game, Project Resistance, is going to be an online game. Now, that makes sense if people are like, oh, shit, they're bringing Outbreak back. That makes sense, but, like... Have we, have we gotten any hints about an RE3 remake? We just know that they said, like, oh, if, if you guys want it, we'll do it. Like, that's all they've mentioned about it that I've seen. People just automatically assume they're making it, which they probably are, but we have no, like, concrete evidence, and people are going out of their minds. That's what people expected, and people got this. Boy, was that bad. So Project Resistance is a 4v1 multiplayer game, asymmetric gameplay, um, asymmetric game. Kind of like similar to Dead by Daylight or uh, Friday the 13th. And I don't mean similar like gameplay wise, I mean similar like the way the game is designed where it's four people versus one. It actually has nothing to do with any of those games. It's funny because people compare it to like Dead by Daylight, which it has like little to, it has no comparison. Like you can't compare it at all. They're not similar in any shape or form outside of the 4v1. Um, there's four survivors that they showed us. They showed us Tyrone, which is the tank. Uh, I'm assuming that when he flexes, which you can see in the trailer, um, he reduces damage. They have Valerie, she's the healer. She, you know, touches the floor and everybody gets healed. Samuel is like the boxer melee dude, which if you look in the gameplay that I posted for you guys, that's in the description, if you go to 5 minutes and 30 seconds in there, you can see just some really, really janky gameplay of, of, of Samuel punching a plant guy till he explodes. It looks so bad. It's so janky. And January, or January, is the hacker that can disable cameras that the uh, mastermind can use to shoot at the survivors or watch them. Uh, the mastermind is the one versus the four. Uh, they can drop enemies to slow you down because it looks like the whole point of the game is to either have you killed or have you waste enough time that you don't make it to where you need to go. From what I've seen, um, that's what it looks like. It looks like the whole point of the mastermind is to slow you down. I haven't seen them really kill anybody yet in the gameplay they showed us, but they only showed us one. But it looks like the whole purpose of the mastermind is to slow down the four players so that they don't get to the blast door before the time runs out. I'm assuming when the time runs out, they're locked in and they're dead. So, uh, they can slow you down, They can the mastermind can turn the lights out. Ooh, spooky! You can turn the lights out, they can place traps to slow you down, they can close and lock doors to separate the party, they can attack with the with gun cameras, they can directly control zombies, and they can directly control Mr. X. I guess. How does it look? Whatever, dude. Kinda looks like that one Fable game we never got, remember? A few years ago we were supposed to get a Fable game that's similar to this? It's weird that we were gonna get a Fable game that was like exactly this, where it's like heroes and like a dungeon master. I guess. That game got cancelled. 
I heard they were redoing it, but they probably did it. I don't know. All I know is that if you look through the trailer and scroll down and read the comments, sweet Jesus, people are not happy. It's crazy. Um, from paying attention to the trailer, when I when you watch the seven minute gameplay, one thing I notice is that the mastermind is constantly talking shit to you. Cool and all, he has like a French accent. That's nice, but like, shut up. So he gets kind of annoying. Um, I also notice that your teammates never talk to each other. They don't really talk to each other at all. I hope that they change that and have the your teammates like kind of chatter, kind of like outbreak, outbreak, outbreak. You know, like how they kind of talk to each other, even though it it, it was okay. I mean, it, it wasn't like full on conversations, but they did say stuff to each other every once in a while. Um, the game looks hella janky, dude. Like. Sweet Jesus, it looks janky. It looks like it's it. The game looks like it was too early to be shown off, but Capcom showed it anyway. It it looks pretty janky. It's made in the RE2 engine, well, RE engine, but it looks like it's taking a lot of animations from RE2, from what I've seen. Um, I'm kind of skimming through the gameplay. I guess. I mean, I don't know, man. This looks this looks way too early to like even decide what's going on, like. If we are, oh, like you'd like to solve puzzles to open doors and stuff. That's cool, I guess. I don't know, man. It's too early to determine if it's ass or not. We've got like a couple gameplay videos. Did he die? He did die. Hold up. I didn't see a dude die in here. What happened? Oh, Mr. X just. Oh my God, it's so ghetto. You guys have to watch this video. <laughs> Mr. X like popped this girl's head like a grape, but like the camera got stuck in the wall and started going buck wild. And she like flashed green. Oh my god. I didn't even see that part. Oh man. I must have missed that. But I apologize. I'm having bad allergies tonight. I'm not sick. I promise. I need to dust my fan because it's really hot and I have my fan blowing and it blows just dust in my face. And it just, just makes me, stops me up. So that's pretty much what I have to say about the game. Uh, I think the game was announced at the absolute worst time with people being very vocal of what they want and this is not what they want. And it's totally understandable why people are upset about it. Because people have been extremely vocal about an RE3 remake and a Outbreak, something to do with Outbreak, and we got this. So that makes sense why people are upset. I personally think it's way too early to determine if it's shit or not. Because this obviously looks super like beta alpha. Like, this looks way too unfinished and unpolished it looks janky as shit it's crazy to see like re2 and then see this and i did hear i can't remember where i read it or heard from it but i heard that like this game isn't developed by like in-house capcom it's outsourced so that makes it even like that makes you think even more like why like i don't know man i think when they announced this game to like soften the blow a little bit they should have like hinted at something else they were working on or Hey, to keep you guys, you know, waiting for our next big RE project, here's like a little thing. Or like, maybe this could have been like a $30 DLC for RE2. I think that would have been pretty cool. Can you imagine if this was like a huge, like $25, $30, $40 DLC for RE2? A multiplayer mode? Like, th that would be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool. Too late now, because that's not going to happen. Oh my god, I got back to the gameplay when the dude got stuck in the wall. Um... I think that would have been cool. That would have actually been perfect if it was released as like a huge paid DLC. But I really hope this game is the $60. It, as it looks right now, hell no. I'm looking forward to it getting better because as it looks now, that's a, that's a big no for me, dog. And what I mean by that is like, I'm going to try it because I give everything a chance. Except, like, Minecraft or whatever. I, well, I never I take that back. I did play Minecraft, and I just didn't like it. What game did I not give a chance to? I don't think I've never not given a game a chance. And by that, I mean, like, I somehow got a hold of it in some shape or form to play it. And then decide from then that I'm like, yeah, like Stardew Valley, dude. You guys have no idea how many times I tried to play that game, and I just don't like it. But... I know when it comes out, I hope it's not $60. I don't want a, another $60. I don't know, dude! When have we had a good multiplayer Resident Evil game? I'm not counting like RE5 and RE6 co-op. 
I mean like Operation Raccoon City status. When have we had a game like that? And I know people are going to be like, Outbreak? I don't know about y'all, but I don't like Outbreak. I thought Outbreak was annoying. I was hyped as shit for Outbreak when I was a little kid, and then I played it and I didn't like it. I liked one level in Outbreak. File 1. And it was the first level. I just played that level over and over again and just never played any other level. <laughs> And then Outbreak File 2 came out, and I, I don't think I ever beat any level. I might have beat the zoo, but like that was it. I hated every level in that game. So, in my opinion, I think Outbreak's kind of cheeks. But other people like it. Good for y'all. So, but in my opinion, I don't think we've had a really legitimately 110% good like Resident Evil multiplayer game. So like when I first heard that this was going to be a thing, I said to myself, I'm like, it doesn't matter because it's probably going to suck anyway. Because that's... I my 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 I don't know, dude. When when I hear multiplayer Resident Evil, my standards are just in the toilet. I'm like, it's probably gonna be bad. So like, but then again, like I'm not super critical of stuff. Like if it's fun, fuck it. I played Friday the Thirteenth. That game was a shit show. And that game was fun. It was ass, but it was fun. Maybe this will be fun. I don't know, man. I know that, I remember reading somewhere that they said that, like, they're not even anywhere close. They haven't even named it yet. Project Resistance is just the project name now. It doesn't even have an official name yet. That's how early we are. The game doesn't even have a title yet. But if it doesn't even have a title yet, why are they showing it? I guess because they want to get their beta test out. Isn't there a beta test? Let me look. At the end of the trailer, they say their beta test. Oh my god, the Xbox noise is so loud. When did they, they, they say at the end of the trailer, yeah, beta tests are in October. That's in like, October 4th to the 7th, they're doing a closed beta. That's in, one, two, three, it's like three weeks. Uh, is, is much of the game gonna change in three weeks? Probably not. Well, okay. Shit, I guess I'm gonna go to Project Resistance and sign my ass up. I'll do that shit right now. I wanna play it. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see if it's bad. <laughs> Hey Capcom, y'all listening? I love y'all. Can I play? I wanna, I wanna just, I wanna see if it's, if it's good. You can't say bad. People get all upset. People like negativity. When's my birthday? Let's type that in. I'm about to sign up right now. I just wanna know if it's any good or not. I don't wanna prove that it's bad, you know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still, uh, call it what it is. Closed beta test coming. Please read PlayStation 4 one entry. Yo, so you gotta be a member of the Resident Evil Ambassador program? Oh, boo! How do I sign up? There we go. This button? They'll choose participants. Hey, I'm signing up, boys! Fuck it! I wanna play it! Probably gonna be cheeks, but I'm gonna have fun! I'm gonna do this later. Let me finish making this video. <laughs> Alright, so to sum it all up, I know I've been talking for like 14, 13 minutes or whatever. The game looks way too early to judge if we're judging it for what they showed us right now because what I mean by it looks way too early, the game looks janky as shit. It doesn't even have a name. Like it doesn't, the game doesn't have a title. I feel the game was shown way too early because it looks really low quality. If we had to judge it for what it is right now, like if this came out tomorrow, hell no. But from what they've shown us that has promise and I just hope that Capcom listens to us and changes it to make it better. Because as it looks like right now, this does not look like the game the world needs right now. It does not. Or want. Maybe we, who knows, maybe we do need it. But the Resident Evil community has been very vocal on what they want. And this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. This is definitely not it. And I was actually extremely surprised when I saw that nobody is happy. Like, maybe I'm about to read some of these. Boo, looks boring. Looks like Left 4 Dead. Where's Wake Me When RE3 Remake Comes? People love playing with the Left 4 Dead concept, don't they? But hey, maybe fun. There's another boo. Wait for it. It's like Resident Evil Outbreak, but another version. But doo doo. Donde he visto esto antes? Friday 13th. Ah, aquí esta. Dot JPG. Nice. For diehards only. 9 out of 10. This game looks interesting, and I'm hoping it's very good. Thank you. Xbox replied saying, we're really excited to see more. Shut up, Xbox. They found the one good comment and replied back. <laughs> Escape Room, the video game. Rip Resident Evil. Nice. Copy the source mod from Zombie Master. Anyone know any good single player first person horror shooters? That's irrelevant. This game looks really good. Let's see if Xbox replied. They did. We're getting very hyped to check it out. 
So I reply back, shut up, Xbox. Good gob, Capcom. How much would game cost? Oh shit, here we go again. Turn the lights off. Dead Rising Evil Legends. I'm disappointed. This is my reply back saying, nah, thumbs down. No outbreak. I'll pass. I like it. Dead by Daylight style, which I don't see. Last I checked, Dead by Daylight didn't even have guns or rooms full of zombies. There isn't a player spawning enemies or locking doors. What the hell are you talking about? This man makes sense. Can you believe that? We found someone in the comment section that makes sense. <coughs> El Moldo Escape de Gears of Horror and Motor Resident XD. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the ones in Spanish. Is that Spanish? Or uh, Portuguese? I get it mixed up. I can't wait for the game via a Viva Xbox. Is it's Left for Dead Operation Resident Evil? Take my damn money. It's like Danging Ropa, but with real bullets. Okay. Flop resistance. Add bus simulator to the game pass, please. Like so Xbox can see. That's relevant. Should be free to play. <laughs> More zombies, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, people ain't liking this. It's really not what they wanted. And it's disappointing, because it could be good, but people are gonna not, they're gonna whine about it. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm very positive about it. Not because it's just Resident Evil. Don't take it the wrong way. Because I will gladly tell you Resident Evil games are bad, like um, Outbreak, Subi, I, I think Outbreak is terrible. Um, Operation Raccoon City, I was I was all excited because it had zombies in it, and we had RE4, oh, not 4, yeah, we had like 4 or 5, and then 6 come out around the same time. So I was like, yes, we got zombies back, and that game came out, and I bought it, and it was shit. And then I bought Umbrella Core, and guess what? It was shit! So I could, I will gladly tell you if it's bad or not. I just want to see if it's going to be any good. Who knows? It might be fun. It might even be funny, like Friday the 13th. That game is funny. It's not fun. It's funny. So I'm optimistic about it. What do you guys think about Project Resistance? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about it? Are you going to cop it? Here's a question. Here's a good question for you. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me how much you think it should cost at what it looks like now and type out what you think would make it better what do you think would make it good and don't be lazy and say just make it outbreak because that's lazy what do you think will make it fun for you i'll start off i like the idea they're going with i don't like the whole mastermind dropping shit i think it would be cool if the mastermind could control everything instead of just zombies and mr x i think it'd be cool if you could control all kinds of shit it'll be like left for dead's like, instead of having one mastermind, maybe the mastermind can drop his friends down to attack the four, the, the other four players. So having a four on four. I think that'd be cool. Kind of like, kind of like Left 4 Dead's multiplayer, you know? Have a mastermind drop his friends down to strategize to take out the other four players. I think that'd be cool. Um, I don't think that exact thing would sell it to me, but I think that would be a cool addition. Instead of you just dropping stuff like you're playing chess, whatever. What do you guys think? I'd love to know what you guys have to say. Uh, it is 2 in the morning. I need to blow my nose because I am having sinus problems because of my dirty fan. I found out that it was the dirty fan, boys. I'm not sick all the time. I have bad allergies with dust. So, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate you listening to me ramble about video games for uh, 18 minutes. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, a great day, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome night. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.